Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the food experience. Today's food experience, I have the Vivor Professional Blender. This was sent my way for the purpose of review. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Vivor for doing that. Um, I love this thing. I'm actually filming this intro after I've already ran a bunch of demos that you're going to see in the up and coming, up and close. Up and coming, up and close. See how that worked? Anyhow, um, this thing has five different preset functions. It also has a DIY where you could run it at whatever speed you want. And it also features this cool enclosure that cuts down on the noise. It's insulated by a nice rubber gasket. Anyhow, I'll show you all that in the up and close. And without further ado, here we go. Here's a look at the Vivo Professional Blender with control panel. The thing is 20 inches in height and over the control panel you're going to get some film. You want to peel that right off. Lift up the handle and it's kind of like a sound dampening chamber. There's some foam, remove that, take out the blender, instruction manual, and there is gasket material going around and it closes, makes a really tight seal. Unpacking the blender, there's the top. And it has this thing right here. It's like a splash guard. It does breathe through there, but it locks into place. And here's a look inside the blender. There are four different blades. Two of them are kind of jagged. Made in Japan. Here's a look at the front. You have the LCD display along with all the functions. Has a heavy duty cord and the outlet needs to be grounded. I have it filled up about halfway. Reattach the lid. And go with the crushed ice. All right, it's complete. Okay, so here's a look at some of the crushed ice. I mean, it's kind of like snow, to be honest. Next up, strawberries. Gave them a quick rinse. Ta-da! Putting the strawberries in the blender. I mean, who doesn't like some fresh strawberry juice, right? Put on the top. Put in the blender. Close her up. This time I'm gonna go with the DIY. Default time is one minute, and I don't think I need that long. We'll go for like 25 seconds, hit DIY again, it goes to the speed, and I'll go with the speed of two. Start her up. There we go. Looks pretty good. And just pour it into a glass, yeah. That's what I'm looking at. And I'm gonna chill that and enjoy it later. Picked up a bag of Cuties Mandarin Oranges. Anyhow, I'm going to slice these up, put them in the blender, and we'll see what happens. Ta-da! <laughs> They came up to around the 1600 mark. Put the lid back on. Open her up. You know, and I'm not really sure what function I should use. There's one for smoothie, or I could do DIY, but if I go with smoothie, uh, cycle four, speed one, and 40 seconds. Mm 
Speed went up to five, I see. Nine, wow. I somehow think I didn't need all that power. I probably could have went to DIY and just did it on speed one. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think it worked. It might be a little bit frothy this way. That's all right. I'm gonna transfer it over to this container, but I'm gonna put it through a sieve because um, I really don't like pulp in my juice. Here it goes. little bit left in there and that should be good enough for me my dad however likes pulp in his orange juice so I'll try to pour off some for him don't strain yourself too much Andy well I'm not <laughs> I'm using a sieve <laughs> I'm straining it as best as I can <laughs> anyhow yeah that's what's left. That's about it. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Yum. That is delicious. I'm going to chill the rest and enjoy it a little bit later. Time for a strawberry milkshake. I have one pound of fresh strawberries. First, I want to remove the tops. And I'll say these are rather large strawberries. Going to rinse these off in the sink real quick in cold water. You could slice these in half, but I don't really think it's going to be necessary with this blender. So I'm adding the strawberries. And you want to go with one or two tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to go with two. Also, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You want approximately two cups of vanilla ice cream. And what I figure is that's about half of this. And the more the merrier. I want to try to keep this a pretty thick milkshake. I don't want it to be thin like strawberry milk or something. So I'm guessing that's about half, maybe a little more. And three quarters cup of whole milk. Putting the top on. And I'll go with the milkshake cycle. There we go, all done. I'm not sure of the consistency with this. First time making a milkshake in this device. Definitely uh, nice and full, let's see. It's just about at the 1100 mark. All right, let's see how it pours. That looks nice and thick. And there you go, strawberry milkshake. Wish I had some extra strawberries to garnish on this. Wish I had straws, but that's okay. This is going to be great. That water will make them bitter, so you don't want to include that. I'm adding the five cloves of garlic, about a half a tablespoon of salt, about half of the chipotle pepper can. That should work. And lastly, the roux. Put on the top. Putting the blender on the base, blows her up. For this, I think I'll try the grind option. I'm really not sure what would be appropriate for this, 
but let's see what happens. Okay, so, alright, it's finished, but it looks like there's a little bit more mixing to do. From what I've seen, this is completely normal that you're going to have to uh, maybe use a spatula. But I'll tell you what, it definitely got it mostly all finished. I'm going to scrape that down just a tad, but yeah, that's looking really pretty good. Sure is smelling good. Put the blender back on. And I'll run one more cycle. All finished and now it's looking perfect. Yeah, that's definitely looking nice. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Here we are with the Vivor Professional Blender. I did a bunch of different demos for you just so you could see how it works. From the crushed ice to the strawberry juice, orange juice, strawberry milkshake, and also making a chili paste. Everything has worked perfect. It has not let me down at all. If it did, I certainly would let you know. I really like the sound dampening thing that it's got here. It definitely keeps the noise level down. Not that it really matters when you're operating a blender, you expect some noise, but it does make it a little bit more quiet. And it has some good rubber insulation here, a gasket around here and also a gasket around the sides and the back. And um, it really seals it in pretty good. As far as the pitcher goes, what is it, 64 ounces, I believe they said. Uh, works really well, easy to clean. In fact, it has a clean cycle that I didn't show you, but I've been using it after every one of those demos. I should have done it. I basically fill it halfway with water, and I put it back in there, run the clean cycle, and then just take it off to the sink and use like a little scrub brush with a handle to get down in there. Make sure not to touch those blades. I'm pretty sure they're super sharp. And as far as the blades go, they definitely do one heck of a good job. It's got four blades, as I showed you in uh, the first part of the up and close, the little bit of an overview I did. I like that it has a top that's removable. And it just goes back in and locks back into place. And the lid definitely has a very nice seal. I mean, this thing... <laughs> It's like double sealed, if you could see what I mean there. Definitely holds on there really good. It's not going to pop off while it's blending or anything like that. It's easy to put it right back in where it's supposed to go, close the lid, and ready for operation again. As far as the control panel goes, I really like the LCD display. And then you have all your functions for ice crush, clean, milkshake, smoothie, and uh, grind. And I pretty much demonstrated all of those. And then you have the DIY. And the DIY, um, basically you set it for a time and a speed. It would be so super ultra cool if they made an advanced version of this where you could set up like a program cycle. Like each one of these have their own different cycle where it speeds up, slows down, waits a second, that type of thing. It would be great if it was like totally user programmable and you could set up your own DIY that way. After the DIY, you have the up and down buttons that lets you select the options when you're in the DIY mode. And after that, you have pulse. I didn't really demonstrate it, but 
Basically, you hold it in, you let go when you want it to stop. It's just a little quick pulse action. And after that is the power button, which it stays on all the time. It's like on a standby all the time. You'll always see the LCD display so long as it's plugged in. Not the longest cord in the world, but it's definitely a nice heavy duty cord where uh, it's going to be able to handle the high amperage. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I think you need a 10 amp dedicated circuit to run this. I mean, you could have other things in the same outlet block, but you need to keep in mind that this thing is going to use 10 amps. So you don't want another high amperage appliance running at the same time that this is on the same circuit. And when I say same circuit, I don't necessarily mean the same outlet. Like for instance, my kitchen has three different outlet sets, right? but they all run off the same circuit in the breaker. So you gotta kind of be mindful on that. The only other thing, and I really wish Vivor would have this as an option, to be able to purchase more blenders, more containers, okay? These things. I really wish these were available for sale on their website. I checked and I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, I could see a person wanting more than one of these. Like say you wanna like blend some stuff up and kind of leave it in there put this in the fridge and then start another project, it would be nice if they had extras of these that you could purchase. Aside from that, the blender definitely performs very well. I have no problems with the functionality of it. Definitely gets a double thumbs up on my end. I'm glad they sent it my way. And don't forget to look in my description. I will have a link back to Vivor where you can pick up one of these. Uh, they have a few different blenders available. This is just the one that they sent me, but I know they have others available on their website. So that way you can pick the one that best suits you. And I think that's it for now. I'm gonna close this out. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or you've had some experience with this device, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I got all kinds of good things coming up. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me, I'm KJ Andy O, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.